That's good. Yeah. Okay, good. Can I treat you neat? I don't yeah. Know. All right, go ahead and just... Hi, um, well, I'm, I'm Karen Kutowski, and I'm running for uh, uh, the 6th District representative slot that has been uh, held by Bob Goodlatte, Republican Bob Goodlatte, for the past 20 years. If, <laughs> seems hard to believe, but past 20 years. And he's running for his uh, 11th term, and uh, I'm challenging him in the Republican primary. Now, I'm coming at Bob. Uh, I am a Republican. I'm a conservative. I think the government is too big. I think we spend too much. I think we borrow too much. And, and these are my my fundamental uh, principles. I love the Constitution and I think that it, it lays out a framework for really good government and, and I don't think our Constitution is followed. So these are kind of the things that I uh, am about and things I care about. Uh, in any case, uh, February, June 12th is our primary that has been set. We qualified, he qualified of course, and I qualified. He's never had a primary challenger and so uh, from the constitutional conservative side of the House, from the uh, uh, ideas of liberty, the free market. Uh, in fact, one of the platforms that, one of the things that we're running with, uh, or running on, and, and actually finding a great deal of uh, bipartisan support on, is our uh, uh, food and farm freedom type thing. We did a joint event, uh, I don't know, in February, I think middle of February, down at the uh, Court Square Theater, we showed the movie Farmageddon. Now, Farmageddon, you hear that name and you think, mm -hmm. oh, that's a Michael Moore left-wing kind of thing. Well, actually, it's not at all. It's, it's actually quite an anti-government, uh, an anti, it's an indictment of the USDA and an indictment of the FDA for overreach, for heavy-handedness, for basically, uh, you know, telling people what to do when they really don't have any uh, justification to do that. And uh, we co-hosted that with Joel Salatin down in Swope. So um, Joel is a uh, republic. He considers himself a Christian libertarian. So we find support in the Christian libertarian community. We we like freedom. Uh, again. Uh, your audience may or may not know me, but I've written for Lou Rockwell for, for many, many years. Uh, I did that starting uh, once I got out of the military. I spent 20 years in the military. So I really am a from the liberty wing of the Republican Party, if, if you want to call it that. And of course, Bob Goodlatte is not from the liberty wing. I, I was <laughs> talking to one guy uh, up there, and, and uh, I said, well, you know, what would make you not run against Bob? And I said, well, if Bob would join the Republican Liberty Caucus, which we do have, it's a small group of uh, constitution-minded Republicans, uh, if Bob would, if Bob Goodlett would join that group, I would step down. Mm -hmm. And I said, do you think that would happen? And he goes, they wouldn't have him. <laughs> and it's true, <laughs> they wouldn't have him. And so I'm not stepping down, we're gonna run this primary. Uh, the only other message I guess I could say is, uh, for, for Democrats is, uh, you know, at, at my fundamental heart, I'm for small government. I'm for limited government. I am not a supporter of, of FDR. And I know the Democrats have a candidate here in 6th District. They have Andy Schmuckler, and I kind of know Andy. I, I interviewed him on radio some years ago. And I know Andy is on to some things. Uh, he likes to tell the truth. Well, I do too. So um, I agree with Andy on truth-telling. I think that is of fundamental importance. And uh, so, you know, I wish him well in, in his race. And, and, but I will say this. It is an open primary, okay? So if anybody wants to put the hurt to Bob Goodlatte, mm -hmm. they can show up on June 12th, put the hurt to Bob Goodlatte. And then they can vote for Andy if they want to. Um, I won't vote for Andy because, <laughs> you know, I think he's a little too big government for my taste. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think uh, Andy cherishes the Constitution just as I do. So, so we do have that in common. And, and Bob probably likes the Constitution too, but his track record is one of a person who has forgotten that that is the law of the land and it must be honored first and foremost. So. Um, you know, right. I guess that's kind of what I would, would tell somebody if I was in a room talking Perfect. to them. Okay, well, thank you very much for this thank opportunity. You.